What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John the Gamer here, welcoming you back to another episode of Danganronpa. Um, and it's a little quiet. I don't like how quiet it is. Why is it being so quiet all of a sudden? Literally, it was being just fine a minute ago, and then it was like, oh, I'm actually gonna be quiet. Okay, Danganronpa. I guess you want, if you want to be quiet, then we'll turn you up, because that's how that works. So turning it up. Anyways, yeah, because I want you guys to hear the game audio, because uh, Monokuma sounds great, okay? It's simply based off of how Monokuma just is, okay? Because we stand him. Well, we kind of don't. But we love him in concept. But in terms of the game, oh no. He be he be, he be up to some no good stuff, okay? Like, this man just gave everybody motive to kill each other. So, like, wouldn't say he's that great of a person, morally. But we got to find Sayaka, because Sayaka did not take her motive well at all. Which scares me because, you know, I kind of like Sayaka and, you know, kind of hope she's okay. So, we gotta find her. I think that, from what I remember, we could not fig we could not find out where she was. And I'm not, like, here to look up that information. <clears throat> yeah, everybody's in the AV room because that's where we learned of our motive. I wonder if she went into her room for a sense of protection. I think that could be very possible. Whoa. Why is all the say keep out, keep out, keep out? Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge. It must be locked. Okay, let's get that map open. I don't know if I can go in here, can I? Oh, I can. Leon's here. What do you, what do you want, Leon? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that's and that's all there is to it. What? Uh, I'm not going to tell you. No way. No way you... in hell. You're just acting all nice and we and so we'll tell you what you want to hear. You what can't fool me. What the hell did you where did you think get that footage? I don't know. I don't really I mean I'm not too concerned about it. That might be mean I'm a little crazy, but that's fine. We all are. <laughs> um, welcome to Dangan Rope, everybody, where everybody's crazy. Um, okay, let's go to the inn. Because OE is probably not doing good either. Where did Sayaka run off to? Anyway, that video was pretty convincing. I almost thought it was real. I mean... But it's fake, right? It's gotta be. I'd like to believe that, but if it was real. See, she has the right idea. She knows it's fake. Door won't budge. It's still locked. Okay. Hmm. I don't think Sayaka would be in any of these classrooms. I honestly think she'd be the one to hide in her room. Like, I very much want to check her room. What was in your video, Celeste? Huh? Oh, it's you. <laughs> you really want to know, don't you? That smile was strangely Is scary. That okay? There are many, many, many things in this world, and you're better off not knowing, don't you think? I mean... No, because what if all our videos are different? Maybe Siaka's in a room. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Sayaka. No answer. Guess I'll have to keep looking. Sayaka's not the type to go in someone's room without permission. She looks somewhere else. Okay. So she's not in here, then, is what that confirms. Huh. Mondo, Mondo. I don't care about you right now. Maybe... Is there, any, is there anything I need to do in the girls' bathroom? No, definitely not. Well, I was hoping that maybe, like, I'd have the ability to go in there and, like, figure out what's going on. But, okay. Maybe the dining hall? Okay. 
We've seen her in here a lot, so that's not even out of the realm of possibility. No. Oh, wait. We've never been back here before, but Sayaka did talk about being back here at one point. This is just food. That's just more food, but maybe we can get something out of it. Nice. Okay, what could I possibly be missing? I presume that there could be a lot that I'm missing. That's the store. I can't get in there yet. We did in the laundry room once. And nobody's in here. No, no, no. We literally already checked that. Is that the only thing we can check in there? No, that's okay. That's what I was thinking. That we could check the junk out. Okay. I have to go lower then. No, I just keep checking the laundry machines. I wanted to check the Junko poster, but. Clothes, cameras. No, nothing in here. Hmm. What is accessible to us now that was not before? That becomes the rather intriguing question. There she is. I found her in the corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair hands on her knees and staring absently at the floor. She looked like she was upset, angry, or no. She didn't have any expressions at all. There was nothing on her face that you could call emotion. If it was her original mask, then it had been stripped away. Sayaka, are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? What did we end up what did we do to end up like this? Why are we doing such terrible things? Why? Why are they doing such terrible things Why? to us? I want out. Let me out right here, right now. Sayaka, calm down. As she thrashed about, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? I understand how you feel. How you might feel right now. When I think what it might have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things had happened, people out there would be in an uproar. And our families, the police, and everyone, right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we'd already lost. I knew that I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. But I kept repeating those words to myself to make it clear and clear away the images that have been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll find out a way out of here. And help might even come before that. But, uh, but, but, but what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself no matter what it takes. 
When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Sayaka? Please, help me. Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. Sayaka. <laughs> Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto. Can I... Can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help me get or help me get out, no matter whatever it takes? Absolutely. Makoto. Makoto, you're the only one I can trust, so please... No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. Huh? Of course I'll be there for you, no matter what. I'm always on your side. I mean, you're, you are my assistant after all. Makoto. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I... I can get through this, as long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. Like I said, or like you said, I'm your assistant. The smile I'd come to know returned to her face. It felt a little forced, but even then, it was a huge improvement over how she was before. Hey! Hey! It's standing up! <laughs> Makoto, it's standing up! What's standing Come up? On. Do you even have to ask? Yes. Your flagpole! Get the hell out Just of here! No, no, no! Let me join! Well, if you won't leave, then tell us what is up with those videos. Ah, uh, it's about to come out. It's gonna come out. My pristine, pure, white yeah! stuffing! My honest, innocent stuffing is about to come gushing out. I balled up my fist and took aim and swung as hard as I could. I could never put so much energy into a single motion before my, in my entire life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go of everything I had. Are you, are you okay? Hmm. If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated a school regulation. Hey. But boy, are you slow, 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 slow. Yeah. I could have drowned or downed a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, and tagination is all lacking. Um. What the heck was that just now? He wanted to mess with us. Uh, um. Well, for now, you want to just head back? Yeah. Monokuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood that was just created. Siaka and I headed back to the dorm. You should get some rest, Ayaka. You still look pretty sorry. shaken up. I I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm gonna go lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. A small bow, a small bow. <sighs> now, on my own, I headed off and told everybody Sayaka was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room myself. It was hard to think after watching if it's that deranged video. I need some rest of my own. Jeez, seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped here. That what I saw in the video might be real. Monokuma. What the mastermind has in store for us. Or are we ourselves the biggest problem? I want to get out of here. But I could never kill someone. Do the others feel the same way? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. Ding dong. I opened my eyes. They darted immediately to the clock. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime's about to start. So how come someone's here? Yeah, let's not answer the door. I'm joking. We actually have to. We don't have a choice. Door answering time. It's probably Sayaka. That's my guess. Yep. Sorry. 
Sorry, I'm, I'm really sorry I came by so late. Sayaka. Sayaka, what are you doing out so late? That's what I noticed. Her body was trembling. Is everything okay? It was so strange. Sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. What happened? Something weird. Dakota. Just a little while ago, while I was laying down in my room, all of a sudden my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made it ten made me tense so up. Scared. It was like somebody was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course, but they started shaking the door harder and harder and even more. I was just scared, and I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by, and then I got up, opened the door to check outside. Dakota. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but it still makes me nervous. What if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during but, the nighttime. But that's just a promise we made, right? If so, what if somebody decided to break that promise? Then... Why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little bit better? What? All I said is that... All that it said in the school regulations is that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? Didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in. Hey, so. um... But... Two people sharing a room is... You know... Ah... Uh, oh, jeez. I'm sorry. I didn't even think about that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. Uh, um... No, I know. Me neither. It's not even that I mind the idea, but... Um... If you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms for tonight? Switch rooms? If it'll help you put your mind at ease, then that's totally fine with me. But I don't mind. But I don't mind you staying in my room. But are you sure you're gonna be okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't like concern you or anything. <laughs> it's fine. I trust you. In that case, then. More. Oh, this is the night. It's nighttime now. Hmm. <clears throat> school announcement. As such, it is soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. Okay then, sweet dreams. Um. Oh man, it's already night time. Okay, so it's settled. I'll head to your room right now. Oh, if we're, gear if we're gonna trade rooms, we better trade keys too. <laughs> ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. Again. Like I said, I'm psychic. Huh. Hey, aren't you gonna say you were... Just kidding. <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding, though? Something resembling a smile had her made its way to her face again. Thank goodness. It looked like she's already started to be back, come back to normal. We better trade okay. keys then. Yep, let's do it. There's another worry. There was another worried expression on her face. Um, Makoto, please be careful. If somebody comes to the door. Don't open it, no matter what. I won't. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, do not open that door for anybody. <laughs> even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. That's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, lift up the door, then while you pull it out. Just do that and the door should open no problem. Um, okay, but the showers don't work during the night time anyway, right? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> but I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka. Hey, um... Oh, and about what I said before. Hmm. <laughs> when I said I'm psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. See you in the morning. Sayaka gave me one last parting smile and I headed to my quote-quote room. I looked around as soon as I got out of the hall. Everyone's doors were closed, so there was no sign of life. Good, there's nobody here. Making sure nobody was around to spot me, I rushed to Sayaka's room. So this is Sayaka's room. It doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice, though. 
I'm gonna check her garbage can. Kind of weird to dig through other people's trash, but I couldn't help but taking a quick peek. That's... If there wasn't any doubt, it was the DVD with her name on it that we found in the AV room. That reminds me. I never did get a chance to find out what was in her video. But that's probably for the best until she brings it up again. Oh, that's her door that I was procking. Okay. Bathroom. I'm not going to go in the bathroom. That seems like a silly... I think it just wants me to go to bed, but... My room came with a toolkit, but Sayaka's came with a sewing kit, just like the note said. And next to it is a map of everybody's vital organs. The bed looks exactly the same, but knowing Sayaka slept on it makes me look forward to trying it out myself. I feel like it's gonna want me to go here. If I remember right, all the girls have private bathrooms with locks on them. I'm a little reluctant to go in. Good. I don't think Sayaka would like me sleeping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. So I lowered myself into Sayaka's bed. A pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Sayaka's scent. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams tonight. Okay, dokie. Feeling a little better than before I fell asleep. Imagine you're all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You heard in, of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We set sail and left her behind. Here you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, and pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to worry about the stress of studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But even in our divine world of freedom, we have a few more few rules. After all, freedom can only be exist because of the rules anyway. If you're really dead set on returning into that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, then please do your best to follow the rules. I really hope I made myself perfectly so clear. Then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! Good morning, everyone! It's get ready to go. I sat up, still half asleep, as I rubbed my eyes. So I lay, I pulled myself out of bed, and I remembered I was still in Sayaka's room. I just remembered I promised that I'd eat breakfast with everybody else. Better get going! I left Sayaka's room and made my way toward the dining hall. A few people had already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. <laughs> Hello, Makoto. Good morning. Can you believe it? I was the first one here this morning. I 100% believe it. You you seem like that type to get there like <laughs> 20 minutes early for no reason. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, Makoto. Morning. <laughs> I suppose I'm early, too. Figured everyone who had arrived on time could be considered a moral high or mo considered model high schoolers, the ones who showed up a little late. Yo, yo. Sorry. Sorry, I'm late. My makeup was just not cooperating with me this ah, morning. Well, hello. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning was a uh, my morning uh, duties took a little longer than usual. Were the types of high schoolers to be more relaxed with the sense of time. Most high schoolers fall into this category anyway. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad, my bad. <laughs> my bad, guys. Slept right through that alarm. What's your problem? Whoa, whoa, what? It's so, so, so awful is it to be l -l -l late. Yo. I didn't oversleep. Just so you know. No, I got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Oh my gosh, you're DT for a reason. <laughs> they don't care about time or other people in general. They're kind of, they're the kind to move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived. 
At least that's how it was supposed to go. Mm. Wait, aren't we missing still some people? Oh. Yeah, Sayaka and Bayakia aren't here yet. I don't know about Bayakia, but I would definitely put Sayaka on the model high schooler category. F so for her to be so late. What? What's going on? Did something happen? Yo. Hey, man, have you seen Sayaka? <laughs> <laughs> Why would I have? I just came straight from my room here. Did she forget about our breakfast promise? However, I got the sense that she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease rose up inside of me. And that speck started to grow quickly. I need, need to go. I have to check on her. The words barely left my lips before I flew out to the hall. Where I was headed first was my room, where I'd let Sayaka stay for a single night, where she's supposed to be safe. Over the course of that one night. Oh no. The room completely transformed. What the heck? Oh no, 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 no. We aren't doing this game. Oh no. The slashes and gouges on the wall. There's slashes and gouges on the walls and the floor. More importantly, where's Sayaka? Yeah, I didn't mean to hit that. I went to the door. I'd better check in the bathroom. Let's take a look inside. Okay, I need to I need to explain some things. Okay, 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 okay. So with Shy Soul, Shy Soul and I have joked I joked on many occasions that the character that was my number one was gonna die first. So I made a tier list. I'm gonna pull that thing up right now because like we I made a spoiler free tier list. Okay, which. Honestly, I'm extremely excited that I did that. Also, I love the fact that, you know, that's great. Okay, I'm Discord opening on the wrong thing. Okay. So, I make a spoiler-free tier list, right? You guys can probably see that. No, because Bing's in the way. Because Bing wants to be in the way. Like a silly willy Bing. Who's my number one? Who's my number? <laughs> what? Obviously, this has changed. This part of it has changed a little bit. And I'll probably go back to it and update Shysol. But of course! <laughs> you know. Of course! You know. <laughs> we can't. When I saw it was dug or dug its way through my eyes and buried myself in its brain and then and then everything went black. Oh, and that's changed to deadly life. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at the huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I had remembered a ceiling or seeing before and when I sat up I saw myself looking someone looking at me again it was someone I'd seen before ah, ah you're awake finally are you okay yeah. no now is no time for sleeping get up huh uh, um. you were so unconscious dude I had to carry you back well. here it's no surprise considering what happened. What happened? Oh. Um. Hey, are you okay? And so it wasn't a dream? What I saw? It was real. Hm. 
That's right, it really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep dark despair worked its way through my body, and then it exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is. If Sayaka Just is. Give up. You can't only... You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely in ear... Irrevocably dead? No, I have to see for myself. Why? Listen to us. Why? What do you think is going to happen if you go out there? Well, what's good is it going to do just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym like this? Our friend Sayaka, she's, she's dead. Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized that she really was gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now either. Then why? Sh shouldn't it be obvious? Mama Monaguna told us he all to could come here. Wait, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, it, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay. But, but. So. I'm the one convinced. Who convinced them to come? Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? So it's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need to make more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong! I would never do that. If you can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is again. Hey, um... Unless somebody violates the school regulation, I have absolutely no will to interfere. I can promise you that I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of the, your school life in... In... Listen up! I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world, following the bear times one rule. But... but then, 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 then... Who did it? Come on! You already know the answer. The one who killed your, her is, in fact, one of you. Nobody had a reply for that. One of us did, in fact, kill Sayaka. Don't be stupid, that's... Well, what? Hmm, what's the matter? You guys look like you're about to get see a dove get shot up with a Gatlin gun. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? Yippee! One of you decided that you're going to kill Sayaka so that way you could graduate. Someone just is following the school rules, and there's nothing wrong with that. Well. You're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he's the one who killed her. Wrong! Nope. Sorry, you're one of you is now a bona fide killer, and if they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um, um are, are you serious? What, what is it? Someone, someone killed Sayaka. It's amazing what people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't assume he's just telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm that with something with the stuffed animal here. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the high school, right? Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If someone, if you kill somebody, you get the right to leave. <laughs> 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 what? Why are you laughing? It's <laughs> guys. Naive. You're so naive. You really think it's that easy? That you can just kill someone and waltz on out of here? Hey, you are super now. naive. Devilishly naive. Hellishly naive. No, no, no. The real thing has just begun. The real thing. Now then. Are you ready? Because allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you have to kill somebody in order to leave. But however, even if you are to do that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Perhaps... You are referring to rule number six of the school regulations? Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes blackened and becomes blackened will graduate. If you are blackened... If you are blackened that committed the murder you can you can't be found out by the other students and that is what you're talking about is it not in other words bingo it's not just enough to kill somebody you have to actually get away with it 
which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. A certain amount of time after a murder has been taken place, a cross class trial will begin. Class trial. Yep, it'll begin a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the blackened who committed the murder. And they and the spotless students will engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which, of course, means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Well... Um, so what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Oh, well, to put it simply, it's execution. Yeah! What? And by execution, you mean... Execution is... Execution! Execution! Electric chair! Bzz, bzz, poison gas! <laughs> oh my god! Like a paper plane in a hurricane! So, to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they're the ones that die. If we get it wrong, then the rest of us get executed. What a smart little chimpanzee you are! Look at you, implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So basically, what the outside world calls a lay judge system, or an inquisition type thing, which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. But judge carefully, because all your lives are at the risk. Uh -huh. Only let me just add one rule I just described in your handbook. Make sure you keep it in mind. The new rule has been added to regulations menu. Hey. Wait, hold on a second. You You're freaking about? insane, you know that? What the? A class trial? What the heck is even that? I don't know. Anything, I don't want anything to do with What's it. This? Why not? Stop it. What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered somebody? What? what? So you're saying you're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. What? Blasphemy. what? Punishment? Hmm. I might, I don't know, throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Like, whatever you say. Say whatever you want. I'm not going to be a part of this. Don't, don't be worry. so selfish. You're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want, but it has nothing to do with me. The evil standing here before me. I'm trembling with fear. But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist until the very end. If you really want to get out of here... You have to go through me first. As he said, he came to a he came charging at us, although it was more of a waddle, but then Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Huh? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed! You violated a school regulation! I invoke the mighty summon spell! Hey! To me, godly spear, Gunnier! That's another one of my A tiers! Oh no! <laughs> no! Is it? That's number three on my list! Are you kidding me? One in three just died like that? Oh my god. This wasn't supposed to. Why me? Suddenly, at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. No way! What the? 
I, I don't... This can't be real. No way! Now I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a... I really wanted to keep a course from popping up, but there's no good reason, you know. But I guess all you needed was to be taught a lesson after all. Ah, uh, what an amazing promise! But you guys understand now, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you'd best obey those school regulations. Junko's body had been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I'd seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody could deny what they had just seen. Junko, who until that just a second ago had been our friend, was dead. She died. Been murdered. In simple terms, the death of a human being. Hey, um... it, it's really not all that shocking. She just died. That's all. She just went and died. It's no more remarkable than an inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic. It's not like when you die, you didn't really die. <laughs> this is reality. Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would punish her or put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I it. No. I've been wanting to kill this entire... You've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't just kill. Or are you being just metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on. What do you take me for? Oh. I'm Monokuma. Anyways, none of that matters now. I've had something that I'd like to keep for, I I have something that I'd like to keep or like to give you to help you in search of your black and This is a file that has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to call it I mean, naturally you guys aren't experts in this kind of thing. So only you can so you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? <laughs> Because surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I got to go. I got to see it all go down. So then. Wait, so then you do know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do, silly. If I didn't know, how could I possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during a trial? Right. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well. Now then, please put your effort behind the investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, we'll meet up at class for the or we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He let he let us left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. Oh, okay, I can't save yet, and for who knows how long. Nobody said a word. The fact Sayaka and Junko were dead was huge shock, of course, but none more to that. None, none more to it than that. It was also the idea that someone, one of us, had actually murdered somebody, and that if we didn't find out who it was, all of us would die here. We found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion, and the worst situation manable, man, uh, imaginable. And yet, it was a such pre perversely terrible situation. She didn't know the slightest hint that she that it had hey. gotten to her. Now is not the time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose faith in each other. That would lead to some disastrous result. Having total faith in everyone else. What? In other words... Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not trust, of course, is up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think about and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. <laughs> Saying stuff like that is just... How could? How many times have I told you? Anyone who can, can't adapt will die. Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable to, and unwilling to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, then it's only you to blame. That's terrible! What an awful thing to say, especially after what has just, just transpired. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. 
Because if we don't, then we're all gonna just die here. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation. We have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in heck I'm gonna let somebody kill me. All right, let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating the sentiment. They were using it as a mantra to give themselves strength. They were right. We have to do this. No matter how much we want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I need to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why I don't have a choice but to do this. And in the next episode of Danganronpa, we will be furthering our investigation on and trying to think what the heck happened because two people just died. Um, of course, my number one and number three, but you know, it's fine. It's whatever. That just that doesn't matter. You know, it's fine. Anyway, have a good one, y'all. Sorry for the longer episode. <laughs>